Hi, this is Myra Jensen, and I am on a 12-day trip right now with my tag, and I just wanted to make a short video about um, tips and tricks <laughs> that I have used for storage and other things that I have learned along the way in using this little tiny camper. I've been living in it for the last um, 10 plus days. And this is my first major trip, so I've really learned a lot. All right, this is my little Gold Zero Yeti 150. It's got, I've got about 40% power left. I did charge it to full capacity a couple days ago, but really I've been running this USB fan, if you can see here, all night. And um, it's unplugged now, but this little fan works great. It was super cheap. It works great. I just plug it into that. And it's also charging my phone because I'm not hooked up to electric, electric right now. Although I could really run both of these, I think, from the camper because I, I'll, sh I'll post here, but I have solar on this camper and I'm getting so much input on my solar that I could have probably just run these both on the camper all night. I just didn't want a chance running the battery all the way down because I wasn't getting much solar yesterday. It was when I got here, I kind of parked it in the shade. This That little thing has worked great for me. The other thing, when I was in Glacier, I have this um, USB heated blanket that I got on Amazon, and I'll try to find the link to it. But in here, there's a USB cable, and then you turn it on. So I've been, I when I was in Glacier, it was freezing. It was like 35 to 40 degrees at night. And Again, I couldn't use my little, I have a little heater, but I couldn't use it because we had no electric. This thing kept me so warm between this and I also have a wool blanket that I don't have in here now because today it was, it's going to be like 100 degrees here today. But this little USB throw was a lifesaver for me. So I highly recommend this. I wanted to show a little storage. So I have these little packable things and I don't, they're REI. I got them off the REI website. They're not very expensive. Just have like socks, underwear, and miscellaneous in there. I have an extra jacket and hat and my pajama bottoms you can see right in there. So all of that I've been keeping there. That's worked out really well for me. The other side I have more like towels and toilet paper and washcloths, things like that. I would do it differently next time. I brought way too many clothes on this trip. And I think if I, next time I go on a trip, if I cannot fit my clothes in that cabinet, then I'm not bringing it with. Okay, I wanna talk about my kitchen. My brother-in-law made me this nice little pull out shelf for my little, this is the um, Ice Co. Go 12 refrigerator. And it's really been great. Um, I just keep like, some of our meat and um, half and half and things like that in there. It works on 12 volt and it has a plug in as well if you have shore power. We use the microwave once, I think, to warm up pancakes. I probably would not, I don't know, the microwave is, I'm not a fan of the microwave. I have this little coffee press from Stanley that I haven't really used the coffee press, but I have used this little kettle or a little pot quite often. And then down here I have, I think this is GSI collapsible pot with a pan. And then another little collapsible pot. And then um, this, and a, this is the Stanley kit that has two bowls and a foldable spatula. Then I have a little broom. This is a mess back here, but it's because I've been, I've been, you know, I've driven like 1,500 miles, so things get a little screwed up. <laughs> it all looks pretty in the beginning. So you can see here that I've thrown a bunch of stuff in my sink. I've used this as storage. I have not used this sink. There's no water. I haven't put any water in the trailer because I have no place to put this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have someone build me a drawer that fits here that pulls out and I can store all that stuff. And then I think it'll be perfect. And then this you have to have, something like this. This is a, it's really cheap on Amazon. Just a little windscreen, which I've had to use almost every time I've used the stove. I've had to have the windscreen because it's windy. Okay, one thing I have to mention that I picked up on this trip and that I love and that <laughs> are these little things. 
I call them spork. My sister and I have bought these now for our whole family, and we love them. I don't know. She said it's not great for left-handed people because you see they have a little serrated edge on there. So if you're left-handed, it's on the wrong side. But we have used these now for every meal since we bought them, and just love them. And I, so, so I can get rid of the rest of my um, silverware basically and just carry these in in here. And it's they're perfect. So I highly recommend those. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is that I just start storing my toothbrush, and I have toothpaste in here somewhere. And then when I make my coffee. I just leave enough left over so I can brush my teeth. Um, and it's super handy right here. So it's just a little tip for brushing your teeth in the morning and at night. This is a perfect place to do it. This collapsible drying rack has been very handy on this trip. I also have a collapsible dishpan, which somehow did not make it on this trip. So luckily my sister brought hers, but they both, um, I typically tuck them in around the refrigerator and I don't know if I can do this with one hand but it folds down very small and it can tuck right in to the side here. This is a cute thing that I think I'll use in the future. I just bought this at Target. It's um I thought I could use one of these for garbage and one of these for laundry, dirty laundry. Did not use it on this trip. Mainly because we've been moving around so much. So those were like three dollars at Target and I think those would be really handy to have that's about it for this video. I hope this was a little helpful on how to store things in your tag. Um, I know I had a lot of questions and every time I take my tag out, I start taking things out of it because again, on this trip, I have a whole carload of things that I really did not need to bring with me or, and did not use. So just the minimum, keep it small, keep it minimal. That's why you have a tag to keep it simple and enjoy your camping trips. Bye.